This tutorial discusses Avogadro's Law, which is the relationship between volume and moles of a gas. So when we look at this relationship, is V over N is equal to V over N. So what that really means is as the volume goes down, as the number of moles go down, the volume goes down. As the volume goes up, the number of moles goes up. We usually focus on the moles first, because if you add more, that's going to expand things out, because it's going to take up more room. The temperature and pressure here do remain constant, and that's very, very important, especially when we start talking about standard temperature and pressure. But let's just right now focus on the mole and volume relationship. If 0 0.75 moles of helium gas occupies a volume of, that's the magic word of, 1.5 liters, what volume in liters, remember the units need to match up, will 1.2 moles of helium occupy at the same temperature and pressure? So the temperature and pressure are remaining constant. So V of the first one is 1.5 liters, and that's 0 0.75 moles. What volume is 1.2 moles? We're going to cross, multiply, and divide because of the ratios. So 1.5 times 1.2 is equal to 1.8. The units here are moles and liters. Is equal to 0 0.75 moles times x. Divide both sides by 0 0.75 moles. The moles cancel, that leaves us with liters. And that calculates out to be 2.4 liters. All right, I mentioned earlier about standard temperature and pressure, STP, is what it is shortened by. Standard temperature is zero degrees Celsius, and standard pressure is one atmosphere. At this specific temperature and pressure, we have a constant that can always be used, and that's 22.4 liters per mole. At standard temperature and pressure, the molar volume is going to be 22.4 liters for every mole of gas, and it doesn't matter what kind of gas it is. If it's helium, oxygen, or nitrogen, no matter what, one mole is going to equal 22.4 liters. That's because the majority of a gas is empty space, and so the size of the particle itself is really pretty irrelevant. Now, if you were to actually weigh these balloons, they would weigh differently. For instance, nitrogen is 28 grams, while helium is only 4 grams. But the amount of volume will remain the same. All right, you may have noticed the term grams in there, in the mass. That means that you're going to be using a periodic table more often on this area. But let's start simple. What is the volume occupied by 2.75 moles of a gas at STP? It has to say STP there in order to use 22.4, the molar volume. So 2.75 moles over 1, just like any other conversion. We're basically using the 22.4 like we do any other conversion when we're going grams to moles, grams to molecules, things like that. So we put it over 1. Mole goes on the bottom. 1 goes, all, goes with moles. Then 22.4 liters goes on top. So 2.75 times 22.4 come out to be 61.6 liters. Let's try another one. This time, notice we have grams. Because of grams, we have to figure out the molar mass of CH4 by looking on the periodic table. So we have one carbon, which is 12.01, and we have four hydrogens, 1.01. .01. I found those numbers directly on the periodic table. It's the atomic mass of those elements. So that comes out to be 16.05 grams per mole. Now we can use this as we did any other conversion going from grams to moles. 4.0 grams 
over 1. 16.05 grams, which is the molar mass of CH4, is equal to 1 mole. Now figure out the volume, remember, STP. In every mole, there are 22.4 liters. We had to get it from grams to moles before we could use the 22.4. So 4 divided by 16.05 times 22.4 come out to be 5.85 or 5.60. Let's do one last one. How many grams of helium are present in 8 liters of gas? So, once again, STP, that means I can use the 22.4. So 8.00 liters over 1. There are 22.4 liters in every mole. And then every mole, if we're trying to get to grams, that means I have to figure out the molar mass of helium. I look in the periodic table to find that, and I figure out that it's 4.0 grams per mole. So 8.00 divided by 22.4 times 4.0. That comes out to be 1.43, which is C. And that's how you use molar volume.